What is going on guys? It's Tony from Lomo Paintball and today I am bringing you the Axe 2.0 Speedball Package. Speedball, did I get it right that time, Mark? It is Speedball, good, good right, job. Cool. Speedball, so tournament proud. ball, whatever you want to call it, ball, we're here. We've got a package, everything that you're going to need, top quality products for under 800 bucks. Uh, I'm going to start off with the mask, guys. Uh, before I do that, hit up LomoPaintball.com because we are the best source for paintball. The mask, we're gonna get the elephant out of the room right now, Mark. JT Proflex X. Everyone online likes to rip on these goggles. They're ugly, they're not comfortable. A, um, the ugliness part can be up to you guys, but they are the same thing as the other versions. Flexible, very, very nice. Has a nice tri-layer foam on the inside, which is a good option. The reason JT went with this goggle, or GI, whoever you want to call them, went with this goggle here, is the ease and quick change of the lens. If you guys own an original Proflex, which, yes, they're highly sought after, highly collectible, the, the list goes on, putting a new lens in an old school Proflex is extremely, extremely hard. With these new goggles, they've made it easy with the yellow pull tabs, one on each side. You can simply pull the tab, lift it back. It's just, you know, they're moderate, you know, bringing modern tactics to these goggles. So this isn't a lens change video, I'm just showing you real quick. Just like that, yes, this is what people complain about is the front frame. Like, oh my God, that's ugly. Well, if you don't like it, spray paint it. If you don't like it, don't buy the goggle. But GI Sports try to make it as easy as possible for you guys to change lenses on this. So once you pop that off, look, lens comes, literally sits inside of that housing here on the front and the lens comes right off, quick change. Take you about 15 seconds to do so. So that's a very, very good feature. Uh, and this goggle will be included in this package, obviously. So I'm gonna skip over the Axe 2.0 now. We're gonna move on to the tank. This is the Empire Megalite tank. These things have been extremely, extremely hard to come by. If I can get the plastic wrapping off, Mark, just bear with me. Oh, we'll take so that. satisfying. Oh yeah. So this is the Megalite tank. These things are extremely light. Um, they are good for five years. And then you gotta get them rehydro tested. 15 years total uh, on the bottle itself. It does come with the standard, I believe they call it the reactor reg. It's a 4,500 bottle, 68 cubic inches. So it's extremely light and it's, you know, it's a good quality bottle for a, you know, actually a really good price point. So that's gonna be the bottle that's gonna come with the package. Next off we have, as you guys already know, I'm assuming the Virtue Spire IR hopper. Can I ask a quick question on the tank? Go ahead. So say I buy this tank and I really, really like it. Because, I mean, tanks are tanks, yeah. but I want to upgrade the regulator. Can I put a different regulator on it later? 100%. There we go. Um, as long as you know what you're doing, make sure the tank is drained of air. Take it to a local pro shop if you are uncertain of how to put a new regulator on the tank. Um, so, yes, yeah, Virtue Spire IR. Uh, a lot of you guys have seen this hopper before. We've done a ton of videos on them. This is coming with the package as well. Easy change. You can throw a uh, speed feed on them with a push of a button. You can take out the tray. I mean, they have all sorts of features here. I mean, easy access to the internal tray. And then just like that, three AA batteries. And if you end up breaking paint inside of your hopper mark, you can take your electronic tray out, take that away, and then literally take a hose to the inside of your hopper and clean it out super, super easily. So I like that. I got two because I wear them as slippers when I take the internals out. <laughs> you would, Mark, you would. So yeah, like I said, speed feed, rain lid, everything's good on the hopper. I mean, these things can feed and keep up with the best of the guns on the market. So onto the main thing of this package here is- Finally, the... I've been waiting all video for this. Oh yeah, X 2.0 guys. So first off, the reason we're throwing this package together, a lot of people wanted an intermediate speedball style package that wasn't gonna cost them $1,000 plus. So this package is gonna be running under 800 bucks for a nice goggle, a very nice carbon fiber tank. Obviously the Virtue Spire IR has been proven. Let's talk about the Axe 2.0 just a little bit. Clamping lever feed neck here to fit any hopper on the market. A uh, two piece 14 inch driver barrel, obviously black with the blue matching front to match the rest of the gun. Uh, you got a nine volt battery, fully programmable board up front here, which you can also replace because Mark's probably gonna ask me with the red line board. So an upgrade for this down the road, you can throw in a red line board, which is an OLED screen, fully programmable as well. 
I was going to say the best thing about this gun to me is the push button mark. See the little silver tab? I do. Right there? Okay, so you press the silver tab. Oh, it oh, pops no. right out. It pops right out. So it's easy, easily serviceable. Uh, O-rings, lube, anything like that. That bolt, you guys can just push right out with a simple press of a button. And you guys can access the bolt that way. Just comes right out of the back of the marker. Obviously, velocity adjustment is right there in the back. Tells you you want it up, you want it down. Turn it whatever way you'd like. And then the on-off ASA lever here. Disengage or engage the air by the simple press of the lever here. And ladies and gentlemen, never ever touch the set screw that sits in there. I always say this in all the videos that I do. Velocity is only adjusted through there and not through here. Where's the gauge? There is no gauge because it's not a mini GS. Huh. By the time you've stepped up to this level mark, they figured you don't need to see a gauge uh, that is gonna tell you if you went over 200 PSI or not. So guys, fully set up, you're gonna have your black Virtue Spire IR hopper. You're gonna have the, I mean, whatever color gun you want with the ax, the Mega Light tank, and the Proflex X goggle. That's because all the color options are available at Lone Wolf Paintball. That's what I'm saying. And, and with the easy change going back to the goggle mark, with as easy as it took me to take the front frame off and get access to the lens, we have probably 10 or so. What do you think, Mark? Lens options for this goggle. There's so many lens options. Okay, so at least at least that minimum. You know but. what it kills me is the guys that I hear complain about this Proflex X yeah. are the guys that have small armies of collections of the classic Proflex. Well, that's what I'm saying, exactly. Because if I was getting into the sport and like my first goggle was a Proflex. Yeah. If they would have had the X available instead of the, the traditional one, I would have definitely bought an X because yeah, my fingers hate me. I think I broke my original clear lens trying to get it out of the original ProFlex to switch <laughs> for a tinted. So no, I, I love the Xs. For sure, obviously they're not as, as clean or crisp looking as the original ProFlex, but like I said, if you've ever tried to change the lens on the original ProFlex, man, I mean, you're literally pulling the frame and trying to get these little knobs on the lens to pop in and pop out. This thing is super simple. The two yellow tabs, ready to rock, ready to go. So guys, this is the X 2.0 Speedball Package, ProFlex X, X 2.0, Empire Megalite Tank, and the Virtue Spire IR Hopper. And obviously, us throwing together this package, trying to keep it under 800 bucks, which is which is good, so. Yeah. Go ahead, Mark. Uh, question from the YouTube. Okay, go ahead. Uh, a a Brian Rosado, Rosado wants to know, are you guys out of the Spire 3s? Are we out of the Spire 3s? Yes, because they're discontinued and they're only selling IRs or Spire 4s. So That's if it. you had a 3, is the IR a, a reasonable upgrade? It's a good, yeah, it's a great hopper. I mean, okay. if you had a 3 and you're really wanting to stay within the higher end range, just buy yourself a Spire 4 because they're no longer making the Spire 3s. There you go. You got a question, leave it in the comments below and maybe we'll pick you randomly. We're out of here. See ya.